See, he knows sit like a good boy. He lost 10 pounds. Fantastic. Since coming in, he lost uh -huh. 10 pounds. Uh -huh. I think on his record, <laughs> he's watching the dragonfly swarming my head. I think I saw on his record he was 88 pounds. Is that before? No, that's now. That's the current weight. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, thanks for joining our video. We're just talking about Amir here. He's a four-year-old Brindley Shepherd Hound mix. We were just congratulating him. Look at him handsome. We were just congratulating him on his weight loss. He came in. He was a little chunky. Little chunky. He's um, done very well on his restricted diet and he's lost 10 pounds. So we're happy to report he no longer has the nifty little fat pockets that were on his hips. So that's a good thing. He's looking a lot healthier. Yeah, he's still a little, he's still a little chunky, but he's a good boy. Hey, Amir, say hi to the people. We were also just chatting about all of the great adoptions this past week. We had a lot of really good adoptions. The big white German Shepherd Zeus was adopted this week. Um, Henry, the Staffordshire lab mix, was adopted this week, which is great because he had some medical issues, and his adopters are going to be set and ready to take care of that. Fantastic. So here we have Amir. He's four years old. He spent a lot of time outside at his previous home, so he's still working on the housebreaking, but with a little routine and practice, he'll get there. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, he's been around cats. Although he does play a little rough with the cats. Um, so they have to be either very tolerant cats or no cats in the new home. Um, and we recommend if you have dogs uh, already that you bring them to the shelter so we can do like a meet and greet mix and mingle just to make sure everyone gets along. <laughs> He's so curious. He just wants to see everything going on. Oh, and good news on the adoption front, y'all. Just wanted to let you know our red tabbies, Bart and Eli, were adopted together this week. Congratulations on the cat front. Hey. He's really good. He walks nice. He doesn't... Amir. He yeah. He doesn't jump much. He knows Yeah, he seems like a very well-behaved dog overall. He's very curious. He wants to see everything that's going on. Very well-behaved. Yeah, I think I saw on his profile he is good with kids 10 and up. Well, he's been um, with kids. He's been with kids 10 and up. Might do better. Um, he might be okay with littler kids. Uh, but just bring him in. Bring him in with you just to make sure everyone gets along, of course. He's like on the go. He wants yeah. to move. He's all slender. Yeah, right? <laughs> he lost the extra weight. Now he's feeling really good. So we're happy for him. Well, Amir... Say one last hi to the people and then we're gonna go with and see who else is here hey handsome look at his eyes he's so pretty hey I'm here there's a sit no stay and come command nice I think he did his sit command when we first got out here do you have more treats you want to try it again mm -hmm. show off for the camera attention. Sit. Yeah. Go, good boy. <laughs> He's a good dog. Down. Down. It's like, wait, I gotta finish Put the tree. down. Perfect. He'll slow, but he gets down. He'll get there. He'll get there. Good job. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and he'll steal one for the road. <laughs> I didn't have one in my hand. <laughs> it's pretty gentle taking treats. Yeah. I have a mastiff at home, so anytime I give treats out, my hand just comes back covered in slobber and drool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little so disgusting. Get your hand back. <laughs> right, no, at least I get the hand back. Okay, so we're going to head inside. We're going to go see all of the dogs that are up for adoption. You want to go in Bye, minute? Amir. He's like, no, the treats are outside. I'm going <laughs> to stay outside. <laughs> okay, so we're going to head inside. They're going to go walk around on a longer walk around our retention pond. It's actually kind of nice out here today. Not incredibly hot. You guys want to see Sherman really quick? 
Is he outside or is he inside? Oh, look at Sherman. He's bathing. Bathing beauty. I can't resist, guys. I know you guys are here for the dogs, but we got to say hi to Sherman really quick. Hey, Sherms. You going to say hi to the peoples? There you go, bud. You're so smart. Yeah. Again, that's Sherman Spokes Iguana. He has his own Facebook page. He is not up for adoption. Let's see if I can close that. Sorry for that horrible sound. So we're gonna go inside, see all of the dogs and puppies looking for homes. If you have any questions about them, feel free to leave a comment or send a private message, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. <laughs> Give me just a second. We're gonna see all of the large dogs, well, a few of the large dogs up in our real life room. Then we're gonna go to Doggy Domain to see what small and medium sized dogs we have. Then we'll go see the rest of the large dogs and we will finish off with puppies. Afternoon feeding time. They got all excited. Look, he's still here, guys. Our best bud, Loki, our bull terrier mix. I love him. He's the best dog. I go in there every day and I love on him and cuddle him. Because he's the best. So cute. This is Stitch. Hey, Stitch. Stitch is a nine-month-old retriever. Where'd you go? See who else we have? Hi, she's so well behaved. This is Coco, two and a half year old shepherd mix. Waiting for her treats. There's a mirror back in his kennel. Wendy's gonna join us. She always joins us and passes out treats as we go along. Venus. She thinks she's a lap dog. It's really cute to see staff members in there with her sitting on their lap. Jake here. Hey, Jake. Like Wendy has the treats. <laughs> Jake has pretty eyes. He does have pretty eyes. Okay, we're gonna go into doggy domain, see who's up here. Ooh, smells like somebody got lime dipped. It smells like rotten eggs in here. Hey Thor, this is Thor with his stubby tail. I love him. He's a chonk. You gotta look at him. Look at that tail. I know I do this to you every week. I'm like, look at Thor's butt. He definitely likes treats. This cutie is Carla. Carla's a five month old cattle dog mix. Another cutie with a cute tail. Little stubby tail. Isabel and her happy tail. Oop, 
but she pushed it back out. I think somebody's looking at this baby and Shalotta. This dog really wants to meet you. This is Max. Max is about two and a half years old. Terrier mix. He came in, he's a little thin. So he's super excited for any kind of treat and food time, as you can imagine. Let's see who we have. Oh, this is Hope. She's so pretty. It's kind of hard to see exactly how pretty she is when she's in the kennel because she kind of blends into the shadows. She's super pretty. Her tail, she has this nice black tail. And she's got some fuzz behind her ears. Hey, Hope. Hey. Super cute. She's about a year old. She's a border collie mix. You can kind of see her fuzzy ears. She's good. She's a good dog. Now we have our Boston Terrier mix. This is Saucy. Saucy. Hey, Saucy. Saucy's about two years old. Definitely got some Boston Terrier in there. Oof. It's hard eating when you're wearing an e collar. Can you get it? This is the e collar. I think he got it. Yeah, he got it. Good job, dude. <laughs> um, we got another stray Jack Russell Terrier mix. Two of those this week. Buddy, if you ever lose a dog, definitely fill out a lost report so we can keep an eye out. We also cross check the sound reports um, in an effort to reunite stray dogs. We're very happy. We usually reunite like over 250 dogs a year, which is really awesome. We'd always like it to be more though. This cutie got adopted. Congratulations. Luna. Hey, Luna. Luna is a one and a half year old terrier mix. Hey, she's like, give me the treat. I want the treat. Yeah. Not good enough for you. Can you take it? She's like, no, I just want to get out. They're not the healthy ones this week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It looks like we have a couple. Ah, uh, maybe Focaccia is getting looked at. Focaccia is the really cute Merle Catahoula, Catahoula mix. Oh, surgery. She's at surgery. We do have a lot in surgery right now. So um, when you guys come into the shelter tomorrow, we have another dog, Chief, at surgery. When you get here tomorrow to adopt a dog, which you're gonna do tomorrow, you're gonna come to the shelter. You're gonna see more dogs here at the shelter than you're currently seeing on the video. Because we are taking care of spaying and neutering today. So they're ready to go home with you. This is Maggie. Maggie's a nine month old boxer mix. You. She is very nice. Maggie, Maggie. I was really hoping that everyone was going to get to see Focaccia because I love her so much. But um, if you want to see Focaccia, our cattle hula mix, 
you will need to go to our Instagram page. Take a look at her. <laughs> yes, Speckles. Another great adoption update. Speckles. Now we're going to go to Dog Villas and check out all of our large dogs. There's a, there. There's a kid. Hi, kid. We're going to go this way. No, we're going to go this way. Okay. Oh, and we got to see which dog is behind the reception today. Which dog is back there? Kermit. Oh, Kermit. Not a frog. This is Kermit. He needs a home, too. I love his little perfect face. <laughs> Hi, bud. Yes, we did share his video on YouTube, and then we shared it on our Facebook page, too. Definitely check out our YouTube page if you haven't already. We need subscribers. We need a lot of subscribers. So definitely do that. <laughs> He's so cute. He's helping out the receptionist today. Okay, so after, like I said, we're about to go to Dog Villas and see our large dog. Somebody just walked by. She's trying not to be in the video. I put her in the video anyways, because that's how I roll. So we're gonna go, this is Puppy Palace. We're gonna come back to Puppy Palace in a minute. But right now we're gonna go to Villas. We do not currently have hamsters or guinea pigs, or um, little extra littles, but we do have rabbits and guinea pigs that need homes. She's so cute. Remember, red collars for girls, blue collars for boys. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's so sweet. This is Lulu. Lulu is about two years old, two and a half years old. Retriever, border collie mix. Hey, Lulu. <laughs> she gets an extra treat for that one. That was extra effort right there. Super cute. <laughs> Let's see, Zoro. Zoro's a two year old Great Dane boxer mix. He definitely has a Dane face. Ooh. And a Dane bark. He is. 75 pounds of dog. So he's not super huge like your typical Great Dane. Let's see, Teddy. Teddy, four year old Cane Corso mix. Teddy, can we get a face? No, we're not gonna get a face. He's just gonna lay down. Here he is. Hey, hey buddy. There is his face for a split second. He looks kind of like a manatee. And this is Teddy. Cute ears. Bandit, our two and a half year old Catahoula mix with the most gorgeous eyes ever. Bandit. I'm gonna let you guys look at this dog's name because I will probably butcher it if I try to say it. We just call her Biscuit.
again, that's Buddy. He's about a year and a half old. Gladly eating his treats. Let's see. <laughs> He's like, I'm waiting. I know. I'm waiting. <laughs> Look at his coat. <laughs> if you can't tell, the dog has a little bit of energy in him. And he has destroyed yet another cone. She, she, Cleopatra. sorry, this is Cleopatra. <laughs> This one's hanging on. We just tape it up. <laughs> I know. I think it's like the second or third cone that we've had to use. Um, she's about a year old. Retriever cattle dog. Again, that's a tough age to be a dog. Between 10 months and a year and a half old, you have a whole bunch of energy. Maybe the manners haven't caught up quite yet. Um, and you just live for, live for the moment and go for the gusto. This is Emma. She's pretty. She's very pretty. Emma's a one-year-old retriever cattle caterpillar mix. Get up. Come on. No. She's like, no, I'm comfy on my okay. toy. I'll give it to you. She's super pretty. It's very well mannered. Yeah, most dogs would have destroyed the blanket yeah. in there. Yeah. Yet hers is all right, laid out nice and neat. Yeah, she walks nice. Very well mannered dog. Super pretty. Hey, Cleopatra. Kind of a hot mess in a good way, though. <laughs> this is Cleo. 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 Hey. Uh, she just came back from surgery. So she might be a little, a little spacey. A little spacey. Uh, we got a stray dog here. Do you recognize this dog? Please let us know. Hi, pretty. Hey, it's a little boy, shepherd, maybe about a year old. Medical team one. Yeah. Medical team one. Yeah. Remember, strays we hold anywhere from three to seven days, depending on the situation. And after that, if we don't have the opportunity to reunite them with their owner, they go up for adoption. And then you come to the shelter and adopt them. You see, this is a common theme for today. You are going to come to the shelter and adopt a dog. This cutie, let's see, is Cookie. Let me look at the paperwork down here. Cookie's a one-year-old retriever mix. When you come through the shelter and you're here looking at dogs, definitely ask questions. We'd love to help you out and answer any questions you might have about the pet. You are welcome to flip through this paperwork and in here you'll see like personality profiles and stuff like that. Please, please, please read through those. You learn a lot about the pet. Roy's more than happy to help you out, but you can definitely read through that paperwork and see. Pull it out. Yeah, take out the paperwork, take it out of the sleeve. All we ask is that you get the paperwork back in the correct sleeve. <laughs> it's very important. So that's Lulu. We met you already. Say bye, Lulu. She's so cute. She's like, do I get another treat? Oh, so cute. Okay, so that's Dog Villas. It's all of our big dogs. We're going to go to Puppy Palace now. See what's going on in Puppy Palace. This room is always a lot of fun. So we're going to see what's going on in there. Hey, excuse me, we're gonna go in and look at puppies on video. Um, okay, so Autumn would be here, she's at surgery. Uh, you'll see her here when you get here tomorrow. This is Chosen, a little Staffordshire puppy. So all of the dogs in our puppy palace are under the age of four months. Once they hit four months, if they're still in here, then they get moved to our doggy domain area. Again, that's chosen. Miss Cutie is a stray. Little girl found with the collar. So cute. She is very cute. She's very polite for a puppy. Usually they're like. Yeah, very sedate, you know. Yeah. She's pretty good. Hi, yes, yeah, you're getting your treat. It's okay. She's 
like, okay, but I'm not going to look at you while I eat it. I think they tried to name this dog Macaron, and we didn't quite get there, but we tried. I like his ears. Cute, cute. Oh, she's pretty. She's calm too. She is calm. Maybe she came in with the other one. This puppy is a stray. Also found wearing a collar. She's like, where did it go? She has a very petite looking face. Very demure. She's cute. <laughs> This is a cute, another stray puppy found wearing a collar. There's like another theme going on with this week. Stray puppies found with collars. <laughs> right. I still haven't figured out how long. Oof. Oh my goodness. What are these? These just came in. Are you bathing them? I just got done lime dipping them. Oh, lime dipping them. You're the, you're the lucky one that got to lime dip them all. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yep. They're a great pair of these. Oh, okay. Think, these oh, are the wow. pair of these puppies I saw in the system. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cutest baby like And five they won't be so them. yellow when you took them home. The yellow is from the lime dipping. Um, just done as a precautionary measure. Chances are they saw a little bit of hair loss. Did a skin scrape. We're very thorough in the medical. Um, so a lot of times they'll do something just as a precaution, just to be on the safe side. So these guys are Pyrenees puppies in the process of becoming available for adoption. Um, and their coats are super white. They just look a little bit yellow right now because of the lime dipping. Oh my goodness gracious. I wish you could see their face, but they're too busy eating. They're starving. Hi. Yeah. This is Samantha. Hi, there you are. Thank you for the nose boop. You're very smart. Yes. And you're very pretty. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> hey, I'm <a> camera. <laughs> She's cute. Oh, this puppy is gonna be huge. Look at those paws. Look up. This is Churchill. Sorry. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Churchill. I'm gonna see if we can get a picture of his feet. Oh, goodness. Look at those feet of his. He's got big feet. <laughs> he really doesn't understand the cone now. The good thing it's only temporary. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> he got it figured out. Goodness. Well, I think that is everyone. I want to try to get another look at these Pyrenees puppies over here. Anyway, like I said, when you get here tomorrow, you're going to see a lot more dogs um, in our dog adoption rooms. A lot of them are going for surgery, staying and neutering right now, um, and they will be ready to meet you bright and early tomorrow at 11. If you have any questions, definitely send a message. We'd love to chat with you. Hi. Please tell everyone you know, come adopt a pet. And don't forget our Clear the Shelter adoption event continues through, oof, that was my camera, through the 23rd of September, half off adoption fees for all pets. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. And 
adopt a dog and a cat. And then another dog, because we have a lot of them. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great weekend.